Hey, Remnant Men, this is Bill Weatherholt with a thought for you for this week. Uh, before I start, I want to just uh, back up for just a second, uh, give you a little background. I think I told you in some earlier devotions that uh, my daughter and I were working through the Bible this year, and we've now made it to the New Testament. And it's just amazing to me, you know, every time you, you read verse by verse, you know, how much wisdom there is in the things that Jesus passed along to his disciples and to us. Uh, and that's kind of where I am now. I, I've got so many things that I could share on a devotion. Yeah, the tough part is just trying to pick the right one. So I've chosen one. If I had to title this, I would call this Cheerful Giving. Do not turn me off. This is not about tithing. I'll get to what it is here in just a minute. But uh, I want to just share with you a few verses out of the book of Luke. And by the way, I'm spread out here like a week's wash. I've got Bible notes and computer screen. Uh, so I'm going to read from my computer screen. And uh, I'm in uh, the uh, book of Luke, chapter 6. I'm going to read verses 27 through 31 and part of 35. And as I've done before, I'm going to read from the easy-to-read version just so I don't get tangled up in this. And uh, thank you for your patience with me on that. But verse 27, uh, But I say to you people who are listening to me, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, ask God to bless the people who ask bad things to happen to you, Pray for the people who are mean to you. If someone hits you on the side of the face, let them hit you on the other side too. If someone takes your coat, don't stop them from taking your shirt too. Verse 30, give to everyone who asks you for something. I will come back to that one. When someone takes something that is yours, don't ask for it back. Do for others what you want them to do for you. The, the golden rule, of course. And then part of verse 35 I'm telling you to love your enemies and do good to them. Lend to people without expecting to get anything back. And I want to stop right there. Well, let me read the rest. Of it. And if you do this, you will have a great reward. And I'll stop right there this time. So, um, first of all, how many of you has God blessed? Raise your hand. I don't see your hands. <laughs> uh, how many of you have has God blessed you with much more than you deserve? And I'm raising my hand high on that one. You know, God has taken care of me, my family, uh, and, and just met so many needs over the years that I just cannot explain how good he's been to us. Uh, so when it comes to giving back, uh, whether it be in church or whether it be to others, you know, should, should we do that? Well, of course we should. It's, it's the Christian thing to do. You know, God's blessed us. Let's, let's bless others with what he's blessed us with. Um, and so I go back to verse, um, verse 35. Lend to people without expecting to get anything back. Now, this is, is really neat. Uh, we've got needs in our families, in our church families. Uh, we've got folks that, you know, may have hard times. Uh, it is really up to us to try to help those folks in the, that are in need. And it is so rewarding and liberating to be able to give to someone who you know the need, you, you know what's going on, and you know that they've got no way of paying you back. But to just to say, okay, God has impressed me, you know, to give you money or whatever it is, or impressed me to give you something uh, that, that we have that they could use. And I don't want anything back. You know, you take it and you use it. I know you've got a need, and uh, this is this is just what God has blessed me with, and I want to bless you. And that is so rewarding, uh, not just to see the faces uh, that you're giving that to, or the folks you're giving that to, but just the, the, the feeling you get inside that you, you've done the, the right thing. You've done the Christian thing. You've done what Jesus would do. And that that's, I can't underestimate that, how rewarding that is. I can't undersell that. Uh, and the second part of that is uh, something that I personally struggle with. Yeah, and this is tough. And I would, I would really welcome thoughts that any of you men have, uh, that what you've done with this. Uh, so uh, let me go to first back to first number 30. By the way, my computer screen just timed out on me. Sorry about that. Uh, but here's the first. Give to everyone who asks you for something. I've struggled with this. This has been something, I mean, I, I get hit up often in like the Food City parking lot 
or some somewhere out where someone will come up and, and, and catch me out. You know, Deb likes to say that I've got this 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 sign on me, like come see me. Uh, but you know, it, you know, folks will have a need and they'll have a really sad story. Well, I don't know whether I can believe it or not. I don't know what they would use the money for. Uh, but you know, it's it's a need, and and you know, God's had to work with me on on that one. You know, give to everyone that asked. Uh, and so, uh, one of the last cases that that Deb and I experienced, we had someone come up to us, and uh, and so they were hungry, they hadn't had anything to eat in in, in a while, and we were actually uh, eating in a in a uh, restaurant outside when they came up to us, and so we offered to just buy this gentleman some lunch, and. And so I took him through the line and, and, and got his lunch, and uh, he sat down. He didn't stay uh, to eat with us. We invited him to eat with us, but he didn't. But we saw him go sit down on the curb, and he ate like he'd never seen food before. So we knew he was hungry. We knew we were able to meet that need. Sometimes you don't really have time to do that. Uh, and so I've just had to turn that over to God. And if I've had, you know, some money that I was able to give, say, here, you know, take this and, you know, bless you with it. Uh, you know, we have it and hopefully it'll meet your need. Uh, and then just when they leave, just pray that God, you, you, you know what that, where that money's going and that, uh, I pray that you'll help it meet that need and basically wash hands of it at that point. Uh, because, you know, I think the right thing to do would be to, to take someone to get gas or get food. But, you know, if you're just pressed for time, what do you do? And that's where I could use some of your other men, uh, some of your men's thoughts on that. But, you know, done it and just prayed afterwards, you know, God, meet that need. Whatever that need is, meet it and hope it's not drugs or alcohol. So uh, I'm just going to leave that thought with you because uh, God's worked with me on that of being cheerful when it comes to giving like that. The first example I gave you is always easy. You know that need and you know the probably the family or the people. The second one is a little more difficult, um, but uh, God's working with me on that one. He'll continue to work with me on it. So uh, let's pray together, men, and uh, we'll get on with our week. God, we thank you for all our remnant men. We thank you, Lord, for this time that you've allowed me to share. Lord, help us to be givers, cheerful givers of the things that you've given us. Uh, and Lord, just help us to bless others with that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, guys. You all have a great week.